Okay, this is one of my all-time favorite moments in building drums. I have a babenga maple and poplar shell in the mold, and I'm gonna take it out of the mold. So it's like the first time you get to see all of these loose pieces of plywood become a full-on drum shell. It's very exciting. So the first thing to do is let all of the pressure off of the uh, air bladder. The air bladder creates all of the clamping pressure. Because of all that pressure, because it's so uniform, because of the, the way that the bag is able to conform to the drum shell, you get an incredibly round shell and a really solid shell. I use a traditional, uh, you know, slow curing glue. It's not cured by heat. So this uh, drum, it goes in there into the mold and it sits in there for about uh, six to eight hours. All right, this is the best part right here. So I put some wax paper in there because I want to make sure that, uh, you know, we don't get any glue on the molds and the mold stays perfectly cylindrical. And then usually it just pops right out. It really took a lot of time making the mold, which is important. And then here she is, first look. came out great. So this is a really wonderful shell. This is a uh, 14 by 7 Babinga maple and poplar. It's kind of ugly right now. Some of the seams need, you know, dressed up a little bit. Every, all the edges are kind of nasty. But most of the edges, I make these bigger than they need to be. So all of the, the edges will get all cut off and flushed up. And then it'll just kind of sit there for a while and continue to cure until it gets, you know, super rock hard. But this one's beautiful. Babinga, this has a Babinga inner and outer ply. Uh, and then the core of the drum is made up of maple and poplar. Very excited to see this get turned into a finished drum. It'll be available if anybody's interested in this. This one, I didn't make this for any client. Nobody ordered this. I just, I saw this Babinga available and I was like, it's, you know, this is a once in a lifetime waterfall thing that is absolutely gorgeous. It's kind of quilted. Um, it's kind of hard to tell now, but once this hits some clear coat, it's going to be, it's going to be fucking astonishing. I'm really excited to see this. I would love to just do like a natural clear gloss. I think I'm going to probably do like a black diamond pattern inlay uh, in the center of this with some ebony and pear wood. But if you're interested, like I was saying, this is available. So we can make it, if you want it in a 14 by five, we can cut it down to whatever size you want. We can dress it up with whatever color hardware you can imagine, whatever type of hardware you can imagine, with whatever finish you might want. But there she be, first look out of the mold. You gotta excuse my impatience. I couldn't wait to see what it looked like. <laughs> so I just squirted a little bit of uh, mineral spirits on there to give you kind of an idea, but. Anyways, hit me up.